What's up everybody? Welcome to my 16th JavaScript tutorial. And this is probably going to be the easiest tutorial on JavaScript that I'm putting out so far. And uh, in order to watch this, you need to watch my last tutorial because I talked about everything. In my last tutorial, we talked about a break in JavaScript and how it will stop the code. And in this scenario, we went the integer from 0 through 10. And we said once it got to 5, we want to break the code and stop doing whatever we're doing. But let's say you just wanted to skip the number 5 and keep going through the rest of the numbers. To do this, you would do the exact same syntax, but instead of the word break, you would write the word continue. And as you can see, when you write continue, well, let me tell you what's going to happen first. We have a variable 0, and it's going to loop through and go all the way through 10. But once it gets to 5, we're saying, hey, JavaScript, when the variable equals exact, exactly 5, we don't want you to execute that code. But after that, we want you to continue. So let's save this and take a look. As you can see, we've got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. But as you can see right here, once it gets to 5, it skips it and continues with the rest of the code, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And this is unlike the break statement, where if you did that, it would just stop at 5 and not continue the rest of the code. So if you just want to skip one variable or one integer, you want to use the continue over the break. So that's all the time we have for right now. Thanks for watching.